Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Wednesday, October 31st, 2012. I thought we'd have a brief discussion on the storm surge that occurred with Hurricane Sandy on Monday and Monday night along the New Jersey coastline and into New York City and talk a little bit about some of the reasons behind the severity of that storm surge. Well, a couple of days ago on Monday morning, October 29th, we had a Category 1 hurricane, Sandy, sitting right off the uh, Atlantic coast and it suddenly made a turn, a sharp turn towards the uh, New Jersey coastline. And last week we talked about the fact that it looked like this storm would run in a perpendicular fashion to the New Jersey coastline. In fact, that did happen and that played a, a uh, partial role in the severity of the storm surge. storm itself made landfall somewhere just south of Atlantic City in this region right here. And Winds blow counterclockwise around low pressure areas. So by the time the storm made landfall here Monday evening, we had very strong winds coming out of the east or southeast from the point of landfall here and all along the New Jersey coast and into New York City. Meanwhile, once the storm made landfall, the winds on the south side of that landfall location were coming out of the west or northwest. So a couple of things occur right here. First of all, 80 or 90 mile hour winds here, of course, created a, a strong storm surge that pushed water right into the um, New Jersey coastline everywhere along the uh, you know, coastline to the north of that landfall location. Meanwhile, to the south, winds were kind of a, a negating effect to the storm surge, in fact, helping to push water back out towards the ocean. So places like Cape May County here, and the uh, coastline of Delaware fared much better than all those locations at the um, uh, landfall location and north. All of this area right along here and into New York City just su suffered a very severe storm surge. Now another factor here, the forward motion of this particular low pressure area, and it really accelerated on the, during the day on Monday. It, by the time it reached landfall here, it was moving at about 27, 28 miles per hour in the same direction, the same direction as the strong wind. So from the point of landfall and to the north, there was kind of an additive effect that the forward motion of the storm gets added to the effects of the very strong 80 or 90 mile per hour winds in that same direction. So that also contributed to the severity of the storm surge from Atlantic County on north. Meanwhile, in the New York City region, they suffered some of the worst conditions ever in that region. There were a few factors why. First of all, the wind direction was just the absolute worst case scenario for New York City region, New York Harbor. Winds were blowing the waters right into Long Island Sound here for hours on end. And notice kind of a channeling effect occurred here with the water just piling up right in the New York City region as those winds out of the east or east-northeast just uh, uh, pile the water up towards the New York City region, New York Harbor, for hours and hours. Winds, were, of course, were very strong here. Many reports of 90 plus miles per hour um, in the east or northeast direction here along Long Island. All three major airports in the New York City region registered hurricane force winds. All that, of course, contributed to the terrible condition that set up uh, the severe storm surge in the New York City region. And again, so it's the geography that played a role. The fact that the storm moved in rather quickly in a perpendicular fashion to the New Jersey coastline, all that contributed to the uh, severity from the point of landfall and north up the coast of New Jersey and into New York City. So that's just a kind of a brief discuss dis uh, discussion about the uh, storm surge from Hurricane Sandy and why it was so severe in portions of New Jersey and the New York City region. That's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian.